Hello YouTube, it is April the 18th, it is day 18 of my Vita project and today's question from vloggers comes from Aaron who is with us on Saturday. Now, I don't believe Aaron has a YouTube channel of his own but this is the question that he posed me. Hi John, um, what is the point of a kiwi bird? Thank you for your question Aaron. When I first heard this my initial response was the point of a kiwi is at the tip of its bill but that would have made a very short vlog so I thought I'd go and do a bit of research and find out a little bit more about them and it turns out in 1813 when the first kiwi skin was shown in England it was believed to be a hoax people thought that it had simply been stitched together from other animals they didn't believe that an animal as strange as the kiwi bird could possibly exist now part of this is because it's what's known as an honorary mammal which means although it is a bird, it exhibits many traits which we normally consider to be mammalian traits. For example, its feathers, because it is flightless and lives on the ground, now resemble fur more than they do the uh, feathers of regular birds. Similarly, its nostrils are in a unique position on any bird. They are right at the very end of its bill, rather than being up towards the top as they are on most birds. In actual fact, the way that most scientists measure the bill from the nostrils to the tip means that the kiwi has the shortest bill of any bird. I learned that on QI. Also, other mammalian traits that it has. It has two ovaries, where most birds only have one. It has marrow in its bones and its body temperature is closer to a mammal's body temperature, around 37 to 38 degrees centigrade, than a bird's, which is normally around 39 to 42. So those are all really interesting things about its mammalian traits and the fact that it is an honorary mammal. Another really interesting thing about kiwis is its egg. Now, while an ostrich lays the largest egg in the world, the kiwi's egg is 20% of the mother's mass. Now, to put that into some perspective, when a human child is born, it weighs around 5% of its mother's mass. So we're talking about four times the weight of a human baby proportionally. Now this does have its advantages. Whilst in most eggs of birds, the yolk is around 40% of the volume within it, in a kiwi's egg, it's around 65%. Now that means that the kiwi can be far better fed when it comes out. It can actually last for about a week on the yolk that it still has in its body. It also means that Almost uniquely among birds, the kiwi comes out fully feathered and independent from hatching. And also, because kiwis are instinctive feeders, the babies are able to start foraging for themselves almost straight away. The parents do not feed the young at all. So this is all really, really interesting. In addition to this, a kiwi's territory, a single bird's territory, can be as large as 60 football fields and it can cover that entire area in a single night. Another really interesting thing about kiwis is how they got to New Zealand in the first place. Because they're flightless birds and show no characteristics of ever having had flight, no one knows how they managed to get to the islands back in the day. One last thing about kiwi birds as well, if they didn't exist, then this animation wouldn't have been made, which actually brought a tear to my eye the first time I saw it. I urge you to go and have a look. It's a cute little thing and it's a little bit heartbreaking as well. So go and have a look at that. But there are more serious things as well. A hundred years ago, there were millions of kiwis in New Zealand. Now there are around 70,000. And each year there's approximately a 2% population decline in the number of kiwi birds that are out in the wild. It is not impossible for us to see the extinction of the kiwi bird within the next 50 years. And whilst I don't know what the point of the kiwi bird is, it will be a sad loss if it did actually go. Right, well, that's my vlog for today. Tomorrow we will be getting the other half of Unleashed Clovers giving their question, that'll be abs. Until then, stay safe, be well, bye for now.